and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a beautifully delicious roast cauliflower chickpea um, dish. Um, it is wholesome. It is so delicious. You guys will make it on repeat, I promise. But before I start, I just want to say, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I share a new recipe, which is a lot of times. So I am going to get started with the chickpeas first. So the first thing is, yes, you can use tin chickpeas, but because I remembered that I'm going to do the chickpea dish, I soaked it overnight. So 300 grams of dried chickpeas soaked in one liter of water overnight is what we're going to start with. So the 300 grams chickpeas soaked overnight in one liter of water and this is what it's looking like right now. And this isn't even cooked. So, oh, that's a bad one. Um, so that is um, looking good. I am uh, just going to get this on the hob. I'm going to add 100 ml water more to this because um, it has absorbed quite a lot. So just going to add not much, actually 200 ml more of water and get it on the hob and bring it to a boil. So I am going to add one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and then bring it to a boil and let it cook until the chickpeas are nice and soft. So guys, it has been 20 minutes. I'm just checking on the chickpeas. There's still enough water in there because I don't want to dry them. I don't want the chickpeas to dry out. So, and it's half done. So that was 20 minutes. I, I guess it'll take another 10, 15. So I'm just going to keep an eye that the, there's enough water in there. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the cauliflower. Um, now you might ask me that uh, what is so special about this nettle. It is healthy, so healthy um, and it is delicious, obviously most important. It's gluten free, it ticks all the boxes. So uh, it, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. This is the best vegetarian dish you'll make this week. So definitely you'll have to try it. So here is my whole cauliflower and usually I love to use the leaves but they look very sad indeed. So I'm gonna, oh, they don't look nice at all. So I'm just gonna not use the leaves today um, and just concentrate on the um, cauliflower itself. So um, all we need to do is chop up the florets. So if you start with one, only the first one is difficult to take out. And if you just follow the grain, that will be no problem at all. And then I will definitely use this because um, I love eating this. So just chop it into smaller little pieces because they take a bit longer to cook. I'm going to turn my oven on at 160 fan or 180 normal. Make sure that the florets are the same size so that they cook in the same amount of time. And now I'm just going to make a mixture for the cauliflower. Half a teaspoon turmeric half a teaspoon salt, teaspoon of chili, teaspoon cumin seeds, teaspoon of chaat masala. Now you can uh, easily make this at home. I've shared a recipe for this. You can find it on the channel. I'll leave the link in the description. 
and next oil of your choice I'm using groundnut oil today so two to three tablespoon of oil and a good mix we add in the cauliflower Also, I'd like to add um, some garlic. So I found this massive one joint piece of garlic. So basically you want to use two to three garlic cloves. Where is that? Yeah, that's the one. And I'm just gonna grate it into the cauliflower itself. And I'm not done yet. The last thing to go with the cauliflower is a um, sweet potato that's the name almost forgot so just gonna peel and chop it into small pieces so they take the same amount of time to cook as our cauliflower little cube sizes that's what we're looking for good mix got the oven heated just gonna mix it by hand because that is really the only way to do it goes on a tray gorgeous and I'm gonna keep an eye on this but it should take around 25 minutes or so I'm going to check it after 15 and see if it needs turning over. So it's been exactly 30 minutes uh, and that is definitely done. Um, so what I'm going to do is there's not too much water left in it anyways, but I'm just going to quickly drain that little bit of water out. I'm uh, using the same bowl I used for the cauliflower. I haven't washed it and I'm just going to put the drained chickpeas in there. Um, put a little bit of oil, a tablespoon. This doesn't need too much. I'm using the same um, peanut oil as before. Uh, once again, a teaspoon of chaat masala, half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of uh, chili oil of your choice. You can also put some chili uh, powder if you like, which actually I will add a pinch of. So this smells incredible. So this is gonna go into the same oven as the cauliflower. Make sure that it's in a flat line. Um, at 160 or 180, 160 fan uh, for 25 minutes. Ah, the winter sun in the kitchen is so different to summer light. It's just beautiful. Right, it has been half an hour and both the chickpea and the cauliflower is ready. Oh, look at that. And then we have the chickpeas as well. So now to finish, uh, I'm just gonna get um, a little bit of fresh mint, just the leaves and coriander leaves but with the stalks and I'm just going to um, finely chop this up 
just giving it a quick wash. Um, I have got here 200 grams of natural yogurt. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder. Good pinch, basically. A bit of salt and same amount of cumin powder, ground cumin. And then all the coriander and mint. That's our cauliflower. It's, I've had five minutes, it's still warm. Then that's the chickpeas, mix it together. Oh, oh that's warm, it's hot, 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 hot. So there really is no uh, right or wrong way of eating it. You can absolutely just serve it as it is. Um, and this is a whole meal in itself, to be honest. If you want, you can serve it like myself with some chapati. So you scoop it out like a sabji. Mm. It's really so good. So healthy, beautiful, and absolutely delicious. Or just use it as it is. The seasoning is spot on. The spices are perfect. It's got a bit of heat. It's got so many herbs. It just is so fresh. Um, oh, so well. And some of the chickpeas, the outside is a slightly bit crunchy. Oh, um, whatever is left, I'm going to put them in the wraps, give them to kids for tomorrow's lunch. But today, I'm going to have this as it is. Hope you will try this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back with another new recipe very soon. Bye for now. Even the sun's shining on the dish.